Today's conversation is sponsored by First Generation Capital Partners. If you're an accredited investor and you want to know about how we're helping other accredited investors keep more of their income, go to firstgencp.com forward slash going long. You're listening to the Going Long Podcast with Billy Keels, the number one podcast for long distance real asset investing. Welcome to the Going Long Podcast. We're back once again to continue to help to educate you so you feel much more comfortable as well as confident investing beyond your backyard. And yep, I'm your host, Billy Keels. Still got this voice thing going on, but that's okay. We're, we're still here and I'm uh, still going to share with you. And I want to thank every single one of you that continues to download and share the episodes because you're helping us to continue to move up. We're still in the top 1.5% of podcasts around the globe. And there are so many new podcasts that are coming online every single day. So thank you very much for continuing to be here, continuing to share and continuing to take the things that we're talking about and put it into action so you can get closer to your goals faster. And also for those of you who want to leave your honest written review as well as rating, you haven't done that yet on Apple or Spotify, or there's a quick little video here. And also thank you so much for continuing to um, for continuing to uh, tag us on social media and being able to get out there and share more about what it is we're doing here at the Go Along Podcast. And if you want to check out some previous episodes, just go to firstgencb.com forward slash podcast. Once again, that's firstgencp.com forward slash podcast. You can check out every single previous episode. So Listen, one of the things I want to talk about today, it's just like a super, this is going to be really, really, like you're asking me to make these solo episodes short and to the point. And so I'm going to continue to make these short and to the point. But one of the things that I want to address with those of you who are like me, recovering perfectionists, especially when you set a goal on something, like you have set your investing goal, your investing goal is to invest X amount or to invest by X date. Until we actually do whatever it is that we're attaining the goal, there's this tendency to feel like you still got so much to do. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. And, you know, recently I would, I I think we talked about the different books and things like that, but um, one of the perspectives that I took away not too long ago that I want to share with you is as you're starting to move towards a goal, like you've, you've set your objective recovering perfectionist, or maybe you're not a recovering perfectionist and you realize that you need to move towards a goal, but you feel like you still have so much work to do because, you know, before you made your very first investment as an accredited investor uh, in a 506C syndication, you knew that you had to get your uh, accredited investor verification. You knew that you had to vet your sponsor. You knew that you had to find out all of the information and it still feels like there's so much to do. But one of the ways that you can help alleviate some of this stress is to recognize how far you've come versus how far you still have to go, right? Let's imagine that you have to do 10 things and you're on eight but you're, you, you've done eight things, but you're still focused and stressed on the fact that you still have two more things to do. But sometimes if you just, well, not sometimes, if you just take a second and you just look back and you realize, hey, listen, you've already done eight of the things. You're that much closer to getting to the goal, getting to the objective. Like that's one of the things, like it's just very simple. It's, it's not about overcomplicating things. It's about recognizing and acknowledging yourself and your team for all of the different steps that you've taken to get to this point in the journey. That's the point. It's not about stressing over the next two. And the next two, they may be really, really important points that you have to get over. But also help your mind, help your heart, and recognize that, hey, listen, you've already accomplished a lot, you and your team. You've gotten these first eight steps. Let's just, we just have two more to go. Right? It's about putting the perspective on things. And so um, I know sometimes you, you can constantly think, oh my gosh, I still have so far to go. I still have so far to go but just take a look back and see how far you've come as well. That's going to help you to feel the momentum, to recognize that there's just a few more steps to take and that you've come so far. And whether that's making your very first investment, that's making your first trip around the world, that is um, making your first trip to a local market, whatever it is, you've taken the steps to get to much closer to your goal, to your objective. So, I know it's one of these things that happens, especially a lot of times with us recovering perfectionists, we get stuck in our own minds. But don't think about how far you have to go. Think about how far you've already come. So this is one that's really simple. Like I said, reading, talking to friends, and just wanted to share that perspective with you, especially for those of you who are recovering perfectionists. Uh, and, and speaking of which, like if those of you that are also, you're a, a high paid professional, you're continuing to have Uncle Sam in your pocket and you know it's tax time and you recognize how much that bite hurts, um, because you've done all the work and it really doesn't feel so cool to 
bring home half of what your labor was. So if you're thinking about something to do and you want to realize that you've come a long way because you've continued to be here, you've continued to watch, you continue to listen, I would say just taking one more step. Go to firstgencp.com forward slash going long. And uh, you can find out a little bit more about how we're helping accredited investors be able to um, get closer to their goals and dreams by being able to keep more of your income. So once again, firstgencp.com forward slash going long, check it out. And hopefully today's perspective, short and to the point, is helping you realize how far you've come and you've just got a few more steps to go to get to whatever that goal or objective is for you. So while you're sharing this episode with other people and you're helping yourself get closer to your goal, I'll be here preparing the next solo episode. And so until then, go out and make it a great day. And thank you very much. Trust that you enjoyed today's conversation. And once again, today's conversation was sponsored by First Generation Capital Partners. If you're an accredited investor and want to find out more about how we're helping accredited investors to gain their personal freedom even faster, go to firstgencp.com forward slash going long.